how are you doing today? We are a bit tired today, a bit, maybe everyone is trying to escape the summit or, or you're enjoying it so far, I hope. Uh, yeah, it's again me. Uh, we had to distribute the topics between yesterday's talk and today. Uh, solely idea is the same, but today we are looking at it from another perspective, which is object detection. This like not detection tracking. This might be more interesting for you. So, uh, yesterday, like the session that we talked about, like single dimensional, uh, IMU data, uh, that was something like very internal, maybe to some didn't make much of a sense, but, uh, today I will go through like object tracking and we will have like, uh, I'll just, I'll just go shortly. And if we have time, I have, I think I have a demo later if I can do, if we have time, I just could grab a bit of like a small code. I wanted to integrate it with offboard mode, but I was not able to, I didn't have time to do that, but at least I could get like, uh, attitudes coming out of the detection. Uh, okay. We are looking for object tracking and uh, I was trying to get use of the current hardware available from Arc Electronics and also soon Holybro is going to be releasing one, which we will have the companion computer uh, powerful enough uh, on uh, Holybro's one as well we will have like with Jetson. Uh, just an NX, I guess. So you can do uh, some level of acceptable uh, object detection and tracking and unlike uh, locking under devices, like or any any objects uh, you want to. So I came to like two points of solution for that. So but but in, in case you have any other ones, you can jump for them. I just wanted to be like deployed really fast. So uh, you can use TF light models, or you can use YOLO tiny that I have tried. So, and you can get like high rates usually. Uh, but the idea here is that any label we are getting, we are just interesting in one label. We don't care about how many other objects are detected within the range that like each frame that we are having. And we will just follow on that one. Uh, Choice of hardware again is either this one or the the one that was discussed today that you will have your companion in addition to like your flight controller. Uh, for those who want to choose the network for that, uh, as it has been like uh, recently based on recent research, if you like go through like the papers, you can see that efficient debt actually has shown promising output like regarding the performance and also regarding the uh, uh, FPS rate. We can have all up to like 42. I'm just, okay, we have other ones as well, but efficient debt is like out of the box available, which you can implement it yourself. So if you're working with Google Coral or uh, if you're working with any other TF Lite models, I can say that efficient debt has already been working. We have higher FPS like implemented as well. We have like YOLO V2, which is up to 80 FPS, I guess. And uh, if you use YOLO Tiny, it will be like much, much easier to be implemented on limited hardware environments. Uh, what I have taken is YOLO Tiny that I have implemented the demo on top of it. So definitely on my computer it's pretty fast, but uh, I have also tried it both on Jetson and as well Raspberry Pi. On Raspberry Pi, I guess we can have up to like uh, sometimes 20, barely 30 FPS. But usually on object tracking, we don't care much about it. First one you lock into, you can just follow up on that. And then from your bounding boxes, you can produce your attitudes. Um, this image is not same as yesterday, by the way, it is changed. Okay. 
uh, the idea here is that uh, we have an example on PX4 documentations how to do offboard. So I have added uh, something on top of that. You can use uh, manual control mode and you can use your set points, which are like uh, attitude set points or vehicle rates based on what you're feeding. It's either quaternion or like uh, roll pitch yaw values. And then from the other nodes that are running on your companion computer, uh, you can do this tracking and you can push back the rates you are interested in. So your vehicle, which we assume that it's already in offboard mode, will follow the, uh, the attitudes you're interested in. I am stressing on your vehicle being in offboard mode because many people have problems for that. So uh, it has to be there so that it says yes to you. Um, since I don't have time, like three minutes, I try to delete many slides. Uh, again, uh, the plan is to have this open source. I know many are looking for something like that. For now, I had been able to have like left right positioning on the uh, on the like uh, tracked object. So within bounding boxes, you can have like a uh, center which your object like is located and then you can produce your uh, attitudes based on that. But later on, I'm trying to implement object getting farther from you. And also the plan is going to have like two flags, which either your drone is following an object in the air or on the ground. I know that already on PX4 we have follow me mode now, but this is as long as you are pushing your global position data back. Uh, but this one is mostly, the, the, what I have proposed is already like image based. Um, again, thank you very much for like Hollybro that they sponsored this session. And uh, you can have some useful resources in case you're looking for them. Um, again, I tried to use like XRC DDS in this case. I'll just see if my demo is gonna be like working now. I have like something really simple. So let's see if... <sighs> you can see I was sketching some stuff. So... If this guy can go up, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I have, yeah, I have the agent running, but I don't care about that. Um, okay. Let me clear like what I'm doing here. Uh, this is the upward, like, uh, a script that we already have it as an example on PX4. So I have just added some uh, basic like models and like you see on here on headers, everything are, are clear. Uh, I am using like DNN model and like basic tiny. And then I'm also using a uh, simple, I think Coco. Yeah, I'm using Coco names. So just a short demo, just to give you an idea. For sure, you don't want to see me here. So as I am moving through the video, you can see that you can have like attitude data being produced. Uh, later on, uh, I will I will have this. Uh, is the guy even detected me? Yeah, it is. Okay, it is doing something. Yeah, okay. Uh, this could be like a dough that you can like customize it later for yourself. And then at the same time that you have these values come in, uh, or you can also change it to quaternion based on your choice. We already have the messages for them supported on PX4 side. And you can push it back to like uh, XRC DDS messages. Uh, for those who might be asking where these are, these are located here under our documentation. And what might be your point of interest after this point, or you can use, yeah, you can use either added set points for that or rate set points based on the output you are taking from this, which I will do it and I will make it open. Don't worry, soon, soon it will be. 
available. Yeah, thank you very much for listening. So in case if you have any questions, you may ask. That depends on your application, but in this case, my preference is to have my algorithm not to be wild enough publishing attitudes because we know what will happen. Uh, but I prefer to go with role feature values. This is my own preference. But if you want more civilized way to do that, yes, you can do with position set points and yeah, but no, because normally attitude set points are really tricky to work with and you can easily lose your off board control. Yeah. Uh, another solution for this is if you hard code it, you can have RC controls as well. So you can replicate RC manual controls. That's another way. We just wanted to be saying that we are doing ROS2. Here. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes. What do you mean by accuracy? That is like, you mean detection accuracy or how? It is acceptable, <laughs> I can say. But what you're asking is really general, like which hardware, which uh, environment, but it's not something you would say no, it is practical and implemented in the field. So, but unless I release the code, I don't want to release the actual test data. That, that is the, it's, and since this is like lightning talk, it's not the actual thing. So I just want to give the idea. When we open source it, you can test it yourself and you're welcome to share feedback from the crashes that you will be having. So, <laughs> yeah. Any other questions? Am I out of time? They will kick me out now, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are we done? Good. Thank you very much.